I'm about to give you six amazing Casios just in time for Christmas. Let's get into it. Yes, welcome to the Mad Watch Collector Show. I've got an absolute Casio Christmas cracker for you today. Six Casios, well under 40 pounds, with their own unique design and characteristics, but all six had to have this criteria. These all have a 10 year battery life and are water resistant to 100 meters. What says Christmas more than a little Casio beauty waiting in your stocking? Buckle up my friends, this show is going to give you some insane value. Um, thanks to Casio. Are you Casio Christmas ready? Let's Cassie go! Okay, so our benchmark today, our base watch, is the GOAT, the legendary F91W. Very basic module, low water resistance, tiny, but screams the late 80s, early 90s. Oh yeah, and the backlight is shit. So all the six watches I'm going to show you today Kick the F91 into last Tuesday The first watch I'm going to show you is the most affordable But it is a Casio that the F91 wished it was I am talking about the W800H And it is an upgrade in all sorts of ways from the F91 From the legible screen, nice big chunky buttons The W800 does have similar colourings to the F91 And that's why it's quite easy to make the comparison The module allows you to see the time at all times. A feature that a lot of Casios just don't offer. The watch is definitely chunky enough for all wrists, whether you have a seven and a half to eight inch wrist or a six. What I would say though is that this watch definitely has the longest resin band in its catalogue, meaning this is Casio's way of saying, Oi! Big wristers! Yeah! This one's for you! It has an alarm, a stopwatch, dual time, and that is it. Do I need more than that? Do you? You want to see the backlight? Just wait, my friends. I'm going to show you all the backlights at the end of the show, and also my wife's first impressions too. Stick around for that. All in all, though, a great start to this list. Take two. Let's see a little more originality, shall we? <laughs> Next up is the W1400H. And this is a very cool looking watch, solely for one complication, to show off a stopwatch. Yes, firstly, I really love the look of this. Reminds me of the original G-Shock Square, and I absolutely love the blue color of this strap. You've got an alarm, countdown timer, and a dual time, which you control using the front two buttons. But this watch records laps. 60 laps, which is definitely brilliant for a runner or a sports person that loves timing something. Also, I do love the fact that the sounds from the stopwatch are like no other Casios you can get. It's a winner! How can we not have the Casio Royale in this list today? The AE1200 has a fantastic couple of features. One, the Ani digital clock in the top left of the screen. That is showing the time through all the modes. Also, I absolutely love the world map to the right, showing you what region we're in or what region we've got it set to. Well over 50 different countries times to choose from. Five alarms, including one snooze alarm, countdown timer, stopwatch, dual timer, Time. This is definitely one of my favourite Casios I have in the collection. It may not be as retro as I like them, but it sure does pack a punch. Super! Next up is another favourite of the channel, the WS1200H, aka Fishing Gear. This watch is incredible to stare at. It has all your goodies in there, your stopwatch, your countdown time, your dual time and three alarms. But this watch is unique in the sense that it has a moon phase indicator and tells you when the best time is to go for a good fish. <laughs> now the fishing element of this is to do with the moon phase. I personally have never really used this just because I'm not really into fishing. But what I absolutely do love is the stopwatch. Look at this, look at those fishies go! Does look like I'm playing a little LCD computer game from the 80s, doesn't it? It's a very unique design, great pushable grippy buttons and if you haven't got a Casio yet with a double tang, it might as well be this one. For 30 pounds, you cannot go wrong. Um, could you just click that like button, please? It really helps the channel. 
Thank you. So the last two are my beefy boys. Watches that do look like G-Shocks, but aren't. But don't be fooled by the price. The value is insane. First up, the W735H. Vibration alarm. Yes, not only does this look absolutely tough, love the big grippy buttons, and a very cool, complicated, yet not complicated dial, this watch has a vibration alarm. So rather than beeping, your watch on your wrist may give you a <laughs> It's around about the same vibration as your old Nokia 3210. This watch has a countdown timer and you can make it vibrate when the countdown runs out as well. Stopwatch, alarm, dual time, all the good stuff and wait until you see the backlight. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, the TRT-110H. How can you not resist? the mud resist. This watch does look rather similar to the vibration alarm and actually has very similar features. There's a countdown timer, an alarm and dual time. And I forgot to mention, like the vibration alarm, in the stopwatch mode, you can give yourself a five second countdown. How cool is that? I know that the G-Shock Mudman is marketed towards rally drivers and maybe this mud resist is as well. You're at the starting grid, you push the start button. Five, four, three, two, one. I think that feature is really good. Now, like the vibration alarm watch, this also gives you a vibrating alarm. Not only that, it's called a mud resist because the buttons on either side of the case have protective covers over them, thanks to the help of a couple of screws. This will allow no mud to get in any crevice. I haven't had any trouble with mud in any crevice on a Casio before, but like the 100 meters of water resistance, I may not go that deep, but it's nice to know it's there. <laughs> So there we go, six amazing value for money Casios with their own unique features coming together to give you 100 meters of water resistance and a 10 year battery life. I honestly think there's a watch there for everybody and to have a watch, any watch, that you literally don't have to worry about for at least 10 years is pretty mad, isn't it? Now we have to talk about the backlights. So this is in order from bad to worse on the backlights. In sixth place is the W800H. Just the corner LED. Glows nice and green, but not strong. Fifth place is the lap timer. Although the backlight is quite bright, it does have a lot of screen it needs to light up. Then it's the fishing gear with the same color orange. Then the Casio Royale. In second place with an amazing double ice white LED is the mud resist. And in first place, just again with a double ice white LED, the vibration alarm. What an amazing lit up screen that is. Backlight are fun, aren't they? Here it is, my wife's first impressions of all six watches. Ha <laughs> ha! First of all, the W800. <laughs> no, don't like it. Looks like a kid's watch or someone that's visually impaired. The lap timer. Yeah, I don't dislike it, but I feel like I've seen this watch 70 times already. Have you not got this watch already? The Casio Royale. Yeah, I quite like this watch. I like the gold. Looks like there's a weather system on this watch. It does look expensive. The fishing gear. Yeah, I quite like this watch. I like the sonar, but overall it looks like a miniature stadium. The vibration alarm. No, I, I don't know what you want me to say. I don't like it. And lastly, the madman. <laughs> no, don't like it. Don't like it at all. Too chunky, too thick, and it looks like it's been shot. There's a bullet hole in it. Comprehensive or what, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> I'd love to know any 10-year battery life Casios with 100 water resistance you have and you own and you can recommend to everyone else. Please leave that in the comments below. If you've watched this far, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. It really does help the algorithm. And if you'd like some more of the Mad Watch Collector, just click the button here. Come and join. <laughs> and if I've got you for a few minutes longer, why don't you check this one out? <laughs> Little bit Father Christmas then, wasn't it? But this is a great show. Come on. Come and watch this. Come and click it. Come on. Click it. Come on. Click it. Click it.